we just left off with Nevody being like, hey, what's your name, boy? The main character just kind of uh, shrugging, I think. I'll double check what the previous line was. Do, do, do. Ah, gotcha. Nope, Nevody just goes, what is your name, boy? So let's go read. What does the main character think about that? Hi. Majutsushi ni namae o oshietara rokuna meni awanai toyoku iku. Hi. Toyoku iku. Mama. Now we should pause. Hi. Get the sentence done. To yoku kiku. Oshi, oshi etara. If yep. you tell me your name or if when you tell, you tell me a name, name to who? If you tell the name to the magician, hi, hi, Roku hi. na, Roku na me ni awa nai to yoku kiku. Um, awa nai is will not become. Kind of. It will not occur. Like the event will not no. occur. Will not occur. What will not occur? A rokuna event. A um, rokuna me... meni. Yeah. Rokuna meni awanai means to not have a good experience. Not have a good experience. The, mm, rokuna. Rokuna meni awanai. Just so you know, you're always going to see many owl being used in some way to insinuate something bad happening to somebody. So you can't say rokuna many owl. You can't say that. Um, but you can say like, um, what do we many owl? You could say because you're insinuating a bad time. What do we me? So wherever you see a me is like some sort of experience. Yes. Uh, me, many owl. Me, me, owl. Is literally to meet an eye, like literally. And it's used to describe some kind of experience. This experience mm. is always going to be negative. Always going to be a negative experience. However, this verb will not always be negative. Roku is good. So if you say to experience something good, au must be in negative form. Awanai. You will not experience something good. Versus, let's say we had a different adjective here, like wadui. Do you know what wadui means? Bad. So if you said wadui meni au, that is grammatically correct. You wouldn't really say wadui meni au wanai. That, you wouldn't really say that that much. Because the idea is that you're saying you're going to have a bad time, and you're just describing either you're not going to have a good time or you're going to have a bad time. It's just kind of how that verb is normally used. Hmm. Tend to be with a bad experience. Yeah, you you're using it Rokuna. to the goal to ex ex describe a bad experience. Hi. Rokuna me ni awanai to yoku kiku. Will experience um will experience something bad, a bad experience. Bo yoku kiku. Yoku here is it's to do something well. To it can well. mean that. It can mean that. That doesn't really make a lot of sentence in context. Like theoretically, it could be that. It could be yoku kiku. You will hear that when someone says, listen to me, yoku kiku. Uh, probably say yoku kike is probably what they'd say in that context. Over here, based off of this whole sentence, he's probably talking about something he's heard, right? If you tell a magician your name, you will not have a good time. I've heard this. You he probably heard this often. So it's probably mm -hmm. the often meaning of yoku versus the a, a lot, well, quite meaning of yoku. So that's the second meaning of yoku, unlike yoku niru, niteru that we saw on the first line of the book. So I hear often hmm. that if you tell a magician your name, you will experience something bad. You will not have a good time. Also the case here that Kiko here is doesn't mean to ask. It yes. means to hear. It would be to hear in this context. 
Damata Mama Narande Aruita. Right. So I Damaru Damata Mama. Datta Mama. Datta Damata Damaru. Damaru Nani Nani o imi Damata. Right. So damaru is something that you a lot of times will describe someone else being like damatte to being shut it. Um damaru would be to be quiet basically. Mm -hmm. So this would be ma you know what mama means? Mama. Mama to you imi. Um stay the same. Yeah, so while staying quiet, I narande aruita. Probably the nande behind ma the neburi the majuchishi. Nande aruita, walking behind while yep. staying quiet. Yep, I walk behind neburi. I line up behind him. Perfect. Next is this majuchishi no chisa wa tado no shokudo no. Oh, oh, ni, ah, oh, oh. Ma, muke, muke te, ita ga, boshi no, tsuba no, sagara, surudoi, me, tsuki. De Chira Chira to Kochio Mite Iru no Ga Wakaru. Hi. So this right here could be read the way you read it, but you thought it was a verb and it's a noun here. So instead, it is what's the noun reading of this guy? Shita. Hi, hi, stop. Perfect. Shita. So let's start with our first clause. Hi. It's say. Okay. Say. Um, the old magician. Yep. He's doing Mugete something. It, Hi. Hi. He's How? turning. Hmm. He turned his face. Hi. Towards. The direction of the shokudo at the corner. Yep. Hi. So mukiru, uh, you can definitely translate it as to turn, and it does mean that in many contexts. Uh, the meaning is literally just to make something face a certain direction. So right here, since it's ita in current happening tense, it's kind of saying he's currently has his head facing the direction of that um in hmm. Ita. he's facing Hi. he's not turning he's facing Hi. and while he's facing boshi no tsuba no shita kara from beneath the visor of his hat, Sudoi Metsukide, with a sharp look, Chika Chika To, in a staring way, in a Chika Chika manner, or oh, meaning to blinking, blinking. Yeah, it's more closer Blinked. to blinking than staring. Chira Chira is a little bit different than Chika Chika. Chira Chira is specifically used when you want to say someone glances at somebody. So rather than closing his eyes, it's kind of like eyes forward and then eyes sideways kind of action. So looking straight at the camera, then going back to look be beside you. That kind of back and forth kind of um, eye movement. So in English, that's called to glance at or to glance chira, back and forth. Chira. Hey, chira, chira, Kochi, oh. Mite iru no. Mite iru 
looking no ga wakaru. So he wakaru is the term. Good guess. That is something else. Um, wakaru is the cross. Um, wakaru is to understand. So I wakaru. So mitteru no ga wakaru. I understand that the Look. old man is looking at me. Hi. Mm. I understand that the old man is looking at me from beneath. Hi. With a sharp, with a sharp gaze, he is looking. He is um, sort of glancing back and forth at me uh, from beneath the visor of his hat. Also. What kind of? Where go? What is uh? Uh, that would be Yadoya. Yadoya. Nina Teiru. Yadoya is isn't that like a uh, an inn? Yes, Yadoya is an inn. It's a place that stale. Yeah. A place with like lodging. So, lodging, a lodge. Hi. Natte iru shokudo ni wa. The inn, the lodging on, on top of the dining hall. But here they use the verb, the, um, they use the uh, subjective clause, right? Natte iru. Not they do with buildings can be used to refer to um something being used as something. It's been used as not they yep. but it the it is to define something, not the it is to be used as upper floor. Mm -hmm. Upper floors are being used as something used as larger. rather than being a in height. So this building is not mm -hmm. just in from top to bottom. It is, it is, you know, the restaurant on the bottom and then something on top, which was the lodgings. Hi. Hi. Don Roni. Um, he got Aka. Aka aka to moe Suchin Suchin shikai nakata. So at at this lodging, um, Danro ni Iga aka aka to moe. Okay, so the fire at the fireplace is aka aka and is moe. Yep. Uh, moe is to blaze and aka aka is like a red flame. Bright red, so probably really Blaming hot. Blazing red. Bright red. Blazing red. Right. Jushin shikai. Nakata. Hi. I think there are a bunch of so, people in the inn right now at one in the morning. <laughs> so only the owner is Nakata. And this Nakata is like Naru. Hmm? Um, this Nakata is Naru, hi. right? So Iru is a verb to exist, turns into Inai, which then turns into Inaka. Ta, the ka right there. Naru, mm. to become, right here with natteru, is naru, which then becomes natta. So that ka right here really helps you know, sorry, I don't know why I circled na right there. It's ka right here really helps you know this is past tense of some verb rather than being past tense specifically of the verb naru to become. Right, I missed that. Hi, hi.
It's いなかった。はい。did not exist. そうそう。except for、はい、the owner. はい。perfect. So we have, so inside of the diner, that top part of the diner is being used as lodgings, is a is a fireplace with a flame blazing in it. And other than that, there's just the owner. You may shio, tanomu. Machitsushi no, nebure ga. Yubio, nihon. Nibon. I think it's Nihon. Ta Nihon. Atete. Miseru. To. Miseru. To. Shokudo no shichin wa. Una zuite. Chubo. Ni. Hikonda. The quote is Yume Yume Shi O Tanamu. Dinner, please. Do us a favor. Yep. Dinner. Relying on you for dinner. Machutsu Shi no Neburi ga Neburi the magician. Yubi o Ni Hon Tate De Miseru to. Nebody, the magician, well, raises two fingers Hi. and shows it to the magician. I mean, shows and it to shows the, it. Yeah, that's me said it to show. So he taught that. And then what is the second that here? I'm forgetting. Ah, here. So, tatsu, tatsu, the verb means to stand. Mm -hmm. Um, ta. Te do is a verb that means to make something stand. So since we have the particle o here, it can't be tatsu. Tatsu doesn't take o. So we have tateru. So different verb. Tateru ends with do and but has a te before it. So that is just the normal te form of the verb tateru. Tatete. Hi. So this word is to raise, not to stand, but to raise. It is to raise or make something stand. It is to, to make, make something, something stand. Yeah. So it has both means, but it's not I stand. It's I make something stand. So you could, for example, mm -hmm. get your like stain, your staff and like balance it like a broom or something. Mm -hmm. That'd be like tatete. Um, trees can also tatete when they're making noises. So that's not standing. Mm -hmm. It could also be letting out noise. Yeah, it's to make so something. He raises two fingers and he show it. He miseru, show it. So immediately after, shokudo no chusin wa unazui te unazui te. That's one action. That's a really hard verb for you. For most students, actually. Unazuku. 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 This is a physical Turn action to, to acknowledge the fact that nobody said relying on you for dinner. Hi. So as He's, response, he nodded. To that, Hi. He nodded Hi. and and he do the second thing, which is chudo ni hikonda. So this hikonda is to pull mm. into yeah, literally it's a pull the into chubo. So you go inside, hi, you retreat it back into the chubo, which hi. is the kitchen. Yeah, I'm guessing it's the kitchen. It is chubo. Yep. So he retreats into the kitchen. Perfect. Hmm. Funny how they have a different word for kitchen than the other one. I think I, I haven't Googled it, but I, I think this might be the word for like a kitchen and a restaurant. If not, it's a fancy word for chicken kitchen. But it has like galley, mm. for example. And I think galley is the restaurant chicken. Restaurant uh at the the kitchen of the restaurant as opposed to like a kitchen in, in your, in your in house. Your home. I think, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't look at the Japanese definition, but I do think that's what a yeah. galley is. So I think that's why they're using chubal. Versus like, I think so. or kitchen. 
I use the work in the restaurant kitchen and it's definitely like much grander and much more equipment. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like a line cook, you know, it's like a whole line of, mm -hmm. you can, you can cook 10 different things at the same time. So, so. Uh, too bad. Uh, Neburi wa sumi no sumi no table ni table ni mukai. That's the first verb, mukai. So neburi mukai at a mukai at the mi no table. Hi, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. So he's mukaiing to the sumi no table. Do you know what a sumi is? Corner. Hi. So which table is he going to be facing? He's facing the corner table. So, so he faces, he go, mukao, a lot of times it's used to mean the go toward versus the mukeru is to make something face. So he's facing his head. Well, over here, it's more like moving his whole body. So that's that passive, oh, it's not passive, that transitive thing that you know the word for that I always forget. So, transitive, intransitive. Muke so, is to, to face something. In yeah. this case, he's facing his facing his head, his face. Yes, his another kao. one, mukao, right here is the I face myself. Myself mm -hmm. is face. It's a self act. Hi. Hi. Mukai. Oreo. Kabeo Kabeo Mi Senishite Senishite Suara Seta. What is this action here? So what's uh... So there's two se? acts. The first there act is is se? Senishite. So se? It's to, a body part. You know what body part it is? The back. Hi, your back. So oh, the torso, city, right? Uh, it's it's your back. It's not your torso. It's the back. It's the back. So the back is going to be doing that. So it means actually to face the back. So the thing that's facing the back is going to be the kabe. What does that mean? Kabe o senishite. Kabe o. Senishite. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. What's my kabe? back is to the wall. Yes, the back is to the back wall. Back is to the wall. Perfect. Back is so to the, the next wall. part, so I'm going to erase that for you, is suwa, suwaraseta. That comes from the verb suwaru. What, what form is this verb in right now? Suwaru turn into so suwaraseta. We have... We have suaru as the base form. Suaru. And now we have suaraseta, right. meaning he caused. Yes. So nobody makes someone suaru. Mm -hmm. Suaru is to he, sit. He caused me to sit. He makes me yes. to sit. I'm so ore o. I'm the, I'm the object of nobody. Forcing. Of nebri actions. Hi, hi. The action it makes me here, sit where, do you think? Make me sit at kabe o se ni shite. Make me sit at the place where my back is to the wall. Hi. So is he the orange person sitting at this table or the pink person? He's the pink person. Nebri's the pink and person or... And... Ore. Yep, ore is orange and never is pink. Let me do this one, Mari. I need to do this one. Hi. The verb here is suaraseta. Hi. Suaraseta. This is an intransitive verb. This is a self act verb. Yeah. You sit yourself. So the subject is never. Sitting himself. No. You this is causative. What he cause himself to sit? No, it's causative. Um you can sometimes use causative for yourself, 
but you're not going to specifically say oreo because the sent this book is written in first person. So nevity is not going to be the ore of the sentence. So that means nevity is making ore suaru. So sua. Wait, so this suaru, this suaru is a transitive verb, right? Um, suaru is to sit, like I sit. That's suaru. I and sit. I check very quickly, just very quickly. <laughs> what it says in dictionary. Yeah, I want to know. Sit, um, you wouldn't use O there. It'd be watashi wa suwatta. I sat. So... Ore wa suwatta. Nebri wa suwatta. Funny. Hi. Suwaru is an intransitive verb. It's a self act verb. Okay. So it's saying suwaru is a self act. In the causative form, it is causing itself. Hi. So this is the subject causing itself. No. And you, making you, me... You could oh, nail shit. your other Japanese teacher that, this if you want to. But 100% uh... ore is the one that's being suwarasuru. And she could probably teach you the, the terms that you want for that. But the person sitting here is ore. Person sitting here is Khan. So the the, Khan. the orange person Hi. was made to orange. sit. Yep. The orange person was made to sit with their back against the wall, which is the Ore Khan. Nevity is gonna sit somewhere else, which is actually mentioned in the next sentence, helping to prove that yes, Nevity is not sitting with his back against the wall, because otherwise this whole sentence doesn't make any sense. Um because the point is it's in causative form. Because nebody is causing this to occur. I see. Okay, so if I put in the dictionary the causative form, it's going to come out being transitive. Basically, because causative is the force something. Suwase, suwaseru, right? Suwaseru. Suwaraseru. Suwaraseru. Hi. Suwara. I think causative doesn't normally show up in most dictionaries. Uh, is there a dictionary? Okay, that makes separated? sense. Okay. Yeah, Jisho does not show the causative form, but now that I think about it, the causative form have to be transitive. Because yes. Because it's, it's causing, causing something. something. Hi. You're definitely right. And it takes an object, which is this ore, oreo. Hi. Yes. Perfect. And it's forcing this oreo to put it back. It's Hi. to be in the position of kabe o se ni. Yes. Eat that. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Okay, that is clear. Now the next sentence. Koko kara datto. From this. Nige yo toste mo mukai ni suwata neburi ni sugutsu kamachimau. Hi. So I'm going to erase the uh, extra this information. Koko kara da to nige yo toste mo neburi ni. Sukamachao. Yeah, so we know what sukamaru, sukamaru is. Hi. Sukamaru is to capture. Hi, hi, hi. Sukamachao is already did. It's already happened. Already it captured. Could be, um, but I would say this is more about I would be com I would be totally captured and I'd be sad about it. Would be the feeling I'm getting from the sentence. Versus the really the completed action version, especially since you'd probably have that in past tense, like uh, right? Already being captured. Well, this is future tense, basically, or present. Um, will will be captured. Yeah, I and will be, sad be about totally it. captured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would have been a foregone thing. Hi. Sukamacho. Who would Sukamacho. he be captured by? It would be by Neburi Ni. Hi. 
What is Nebody doing? What's Nebody we're talking about? Could be 20,000 Nebodies. Let's see. Um, we are talking about the Mukai. The Mukai Nebody. He has ni, mm. so we know it's a adverb now. The noun turned to an adverb Nis. to describe how Nis. he's suwaduing. So nobody is suwatta. What is he doing? He's suwatta. He's sitting at. Right. Sitting at. Yeah. Look at my little picture over here. Wait, where is he sitting? He's sitting. Mukai across from. Hi, he's sitting across from Khan. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Khan is sitting with his back. That's what that head. mukai is. Hi. That mukai ni suwata, meaning sitting across. And then the first part say, nige yo. Hi. And you told me that the yo form was to try to do something. Yes. Nige yo is to try to escape. Hi. Poste mo, even if. Hi. So, nige yo even if, even... So wait, 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 wait. Nige yo to suru is to try to something. Nige yo on its own is just volational form and tends to mean to attend. That's to intend. This is to try. This is to even try, even if I try. Even if I try. Nige yo to shitemo. Nige yo is the vo regular volitional form. Nige yo to shite is to try to do it and likely to fail. Nige yo to shitemo is even if I were to try. Mukai ni suwatta neburi ni. The neburi that is opposite me. Hi. Well, suwatta so is opposite of me. Sugu. Sugu quickly. Hi. Sukamachiyama. Sukamachimau will capture me. Yes. Quickly capture me. Perfect. So if it's from here, then even if I attempted to run away, then nobody who's sitting across from me will quickly capture me. And that would suck. Okay, so that I... is where our halfway point is. So we'll be continuing in five minutes with the uh, main text. Yeah, see ya. Bye. I...